things from the shamba which I eat. I'm gonna mix it. Some of them are actually I have just mixed it around and make sure that it's big. I'm going to just begin by prepping my matoke. It's usually very difficult to clean your hands after prepping them, so I'm just going to use these gloves. These are Nakumat gloves. I bought them in Taskies, ironically. So they're just disposable gloves which you use for food. Let me two more just so that I don't have to wash my hands because of that that nini that sticks over here. The maji or the matoke. So let's prep this. I'm going to just wear it on one hand. I'm going to wear it on the and come. Oh, it's cone. Yep. So the thing with peeling matoke is you have to make sure, it's a bit tricky, you have to make sure that you get all the green parts so that it doesn't turn black. And of course you don't cut her too much. It's a bit hard to cut with this glass but So the essence of a tumbukiza is that you cook it in a broth. So we are going to use beef broth. These are the ingredients we're going to use. I'm just waiting for this to warm up because I've I've been boiling it and I've just set it aside for a while. I'm going to show you my ingredients. I'm going to use one onion and this is two cloves of garlic as always. You measure garlic with your heart. If you want more, go ahead. Three nyanyas chopped up. Three tomatoes. Uh, for spices, we're gonna use turmeric. I'm gonna also crack some black pepper. You can see it, but I'm gonna crack some black pepper. I've harvested some things from the shamba, which I, I'm gonna use. So this is rosemary. I'm gonna use sage as well. I have so much sage growing right now. This is parsley, which I'm going to add at the end. And then this is one chili, which I'm going to just add whole so that it's not too spicy. I'm also going to add salt. Yeah. So this is one of those recipes which you just add what you have. So I'm using, for instance, I'm just using these because that's what I have. I like it really simple, so I don't, I don't add too much spice. All right, cool. So we brought back the yum, the meat to a boil. The amount of meat you use depends on what you have just what you use what you have so we'll start by adding in the spices which and the earth turmeric this is like half a teaspoon and then salt this this had just a little bit of salt so i'll add just a bit more and then i'll add in the the herbs all the herbs except um parsley so the sage the rosemary and also the one capili pili and then we're gonna add in the tomatoes garlic and onion oh, it already looks so good i already cleaned and rinsed some of them are actually um ripening because they've been there for quite a while so which is good because i like that flavor of ripened bananas we just mix that in and, oh. and basically we've already cooked yani yours is just to wait that's why this is a perfect weekday recipe because like to kosforia and waiting for it to cook about seven to ten minutes later i have just mixed it around and made sure that i still have enough water but look how good it looks i love turmeric <laughs> so the last step is obviously adding in the parsley which i've chopped up into small i've just chopped it up you will ideally uh, supplement this using dania if that's what you have. 
I usually just use parsley because I have so much of it growing outside. And we're done! Add in the tomatoes. Shoot, 